All right, we are cruising right along on our Lotus Blossom framework that we are using to develop our Kajabi community product. If you happened to skip ahead, please go back and start with the first video because diving in right about now might make zero sense to you. So we have our central idea, community is in the center. We put our supporting cast members of business, legal, product, offers, automations, communications, and topics. Then we pulled out one of our supporting cast members and placed it into its own quadrant of nine on the Lotus Blossom. We then added the supporting cast members for business, legal, we haven't gotten to product yet, and now we're gonna continue on. So product is blue, and you don't have to worry. Like with legal here, you see, we haven't filled in all the boxes. That's okay. You could you're, embrace white space. It's totally fine. As stuff comes up, you may fill them in and you may not. Totally fine. Um, you don't have to worry about blank spots. So product, we're gonna go up here and we're gonna put the product in its own piece of nine. Now, just like any product in Kajabi, you're going to have, um, we're gonna see if I can write these, we're gonna have colors, we're gonna have images, we're gonna have uh, PDFs, we're gonna have videos, um, we're going to probably have automations, so we're gonna do a blue A and then an orange, and then we're gonna make sure that we put our product down here so that we know, yep, these are what product automations are gonna travel along with this. So anything that would go into the product, the editing the details, putting in the framework of that product, the content of this community product is going to come up in, over here in topics. So here we can do topics, Okay, and black. We know, yep, it's gonna have topics, and what are those gonna be? So this T, again, goes into its own block of nine. So right down here. And we know that it's going to impact the product, okay? So this is, as you fill out your idea, your, different blocks of nine, you see that crossover. Again, we're not creating in a bubble. We are creating in a lotto machine. All these things are swirling around and we have to be able to pull out the pieces to do them in as close to the right order as possible so that we aren't backtracking or overlooking or forgetting things. So this is where I will use Lotus Blossom and especially when Kajabi is concerned, I have checklists. I encourage you use checklists. Have a checklist for what are the exact steps every single time you make a product, every single time you make an automation or an offer. Those pieces that are the same every single time and then we just work through our checklist. So if you're a checklist person, this is how the two would blend in together. So for product, nothing else I can really think of at the moment. Now I have automations here and then I also have communications. So automations, you can probably tell, is happening as the result of something else. So here, we're gonna put the communication in the center and we're gonna block it off right here. Now, in communications, you can have, I'm gonna abbreviate this, email broadcasts, email sequences. For those of you using Facebook Messenger Bot, Kudos to you. Uh, it's one of the best relationship nurturing tools that you have available as part of your communication. You can also have video. I use an app called Bonjoro. It's fantastic. Look it up if you haven't. Uh, but videos, you have audios. Um, oh, let's see, audio. Oh, what's this? Like, I think we can make it just like that. Um, but in your communication section, write out what is going out to those different pieces. Now, here 
is where, and we're going to keep this same color just to show you this. Email sequences, all right, is going to be tied to your automation right there. And it's going to be tied to your offers. It's, you know, when they get the offer, most of you are going to have a communication. So I will put, and again, kind of hard, but you're going to put however you're classifying and coding stuff, that's what you're going to do. And this is where, and I totally get this, people get overwhelmed. Like, oh my gosh, there's so much to do. I'm just going to hire somebody. Let me caution you learn this. You will be a fantastic asset as a customer when you're hiring help, when you understand what the ideas they're giving you. When you're part of it, you don't have to do it, but understanding what is going on is so important. So ask questions, especially on my videos. Put them in the comments. I am here to be your solid shortcut. I love this stuff and I'm good at making it simple. So hang with me. Don't give up when it starts to be like, oh my gosh, she's now used like eight colors and she's going here. No, we did this block by block by block. That is incredibly important. You need to stay in the driver's seat of your business. Does not mean you have to do everything, but understanding what's going on, one, will save you so much money, it will save you headaches, and you're less likely to be taken advantage of. Unfortunately, that happens a lot. So email sequences, now I'm like, oh my K, oh yeah, there's gonna be a bunch of messages going out. So this is where I like to do my Lotus Blossom on paper. I don't do it on a whiteboard because then I'm gonna erase it. I do it on paper, I keep it in, um, I actually keep it, this, I have Kajabi notebooks. Thank you, Kajabi. And I keep them right in here. I make notes and I keep them like this so that I always have, I don't have to worry about erasing it. But this email sequence, again, I want you to just see how the Lotus Blossom expands, but still stays organized. And if you were doing this in pen, you could write out words. You don't have to have abbreviations for everything. So email sequence here, you could just do numbers. So like what are the eight messages you're going to send? Writing those. What days are they going to go out? Putting that in. So this email sequence right here now has its own block of nine. And I could just as easily say, okay, my bot, my B, what this would look like on my paper, is I don't always have at this point, because again, we're creating in a lotto ball place. All this stuff is swirling around. We're pulling out the numbers. When we pull them out in the right order, when we've done things correctly, then yes, you technically hit the metaphorical jackpot. This bot could be, I need a welcome message. What's going to be on my uh, Facebook business page? What are my automations? This is not a Kajabi automation, so I'm going to leave it in the color that I did the bot. Um, and if you don't have a bot person on your radar, below the video, you will find a link to RJ Redden of Black Belt Bots. She is phenomenal. She's absolutely phenomenal. I will be working with her very shortly um, as I have changed up my offerings and my business model. So thankfully, I didn't build my bot too soon. But, or my more service oriented bot. I have one, it's just very, it's very basic. I set it up, very, very basic. Effective, but basic. Bot communication can then be over here. This is why I color code. You're not a color coder, don't worry about it. But color coding for me means that if I end up with different boxes on my paper, I know where they came from. So I can jot this down and I could take, um, let's say, uh, automations. And I could put automations in the center and I could have whatever they might be. I'm gonna use numbers just 
for ease of illustration. But this, again, my lotus blossom is expanding. My framework is still intact. So your action right now is to expand and finish out your supporting cast members to your secondary ideas. So here, and if you end up with a level four, great. You have any questions, you get stumped, you're like, mm, I wonder if this is what she's talking about? Ask me in the comments. Again, here to be the solid shortcut, here to help in any way possible. And this is exactly how your Lotus Blossom takes care of helping you see, oh, that's right, there are 87 things to do, but I know where they are and then I can take care of them. So that will be what we're going through on the next video is how to take this, put it into action, get it done, <laughs> and keep our businesses running and humming along beautifully well for us. Have, have fun, get it done, ask questions if you need anything from me, and I will see you again really soon.